illegal democracy, uh, in my opinion, really means uh, how much freedom and in what areas are left to individuals uh, and society by the state, by the governors. Mm -hmm. So it may, it may differ. Uh, but all the governments, uh, at least in the rhetoric uh, sphere, uh, claim that uh, they, are, they are caring about uh, uh, sustaining uh, growth, prosperity uh, for all the nation, for all the countries. So uh, in rhetoric, uh, it's, it's OK, at least during the elections. Uh, but then uh, we are learning how much the uh, tolerance is there for diversity. Diversity is needed to sustain innovation. Diversity is needed to have a dialogue, to, um, to have an empathy to diverse perceptions, needs, um, 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 ways of understanding. Um, uh, then uh, there is also the question how much uh, government care and responsibility uh, of the citizens uh, should be taken uh, by this, uh, on this level. It refers especially to such issues as health, uh, administration, uh, culture, education. So those public goods uh, really require some uh, um, solutions at the state level or of, a, of an international level. Uh, if, um, uh, if we are looking at uh, the areas of, uh, uh, of uh, democracy and liberalism, uh, it may, we may, uh, that there was a full spectrum of uh, uh, opinions um, uh, navigating from globalization through regionalization, nationalization, and uh, the question was uh, uh, what problems uh, uh, the country uh, encountered, uh, whether it was too weak to make an inroad to global world, to international uh, arena, uh, or um, uh, the, uh, it perceived uh, those uh, broader um, frames uh, as endangering uh, the ethnic uh, uh, and the historical uh, and cultural uh, traditions, uh, and uh, thus uh, your perceptions will be negative. So uh, then you will be protesting uh, against uh, imposing something that, um, by somebody who is, uh, who is not our, who is not us. So then there is a certain perception of an, a potential enemy, or at least not a lie. In the sphere of economy, of course, uh, uh, there is an issue of uh, property, uh, the forms of uh, appropriation of uh, some, some resources that may be just or unjust, uh, and then again, uh, uh, there, will be, uh, there will be a lot of uh, uh, criticism, a lot of uh, disappointment, uh, how government uh, can allow for such, uh, such practices. So all those uh, restrict, uh, restricting otherwise practices are of course not uh, uh, accepted if they are identified of course and um, made, uh, made public. Um, uh, there is also the question of scale of possession and uh, welfare relative to others. So uh, in some societies, uh, there is like, like in Nordic societies, it's not uh, so popular to become extremely rich. Uh, people are, are rather living on the moderate level of, econ uh, of, of economic, uh, uh, satisfying the economic needs, but uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, they are uh, favoring uh, social attitudes, safety, uh, and uh, environmental uh, um, uh, values. So, so this is uh, something that could be specific to the region, to the culture, and uh, perhaps to the climate. <laughs> the emotions are <laughs> different uh, at, this, at this level. On the social level, there was, uh, we had already the discussion about uh, the, this uh, uh, social power and how it could be exercised. But always there is a question of rights, of freedoms to organize, to force solutions uh, in the parliament. Uh, we didn't uh, speak about trade unions, but it's also one of the organizations that is representing. Uh, there is a number of, uh, a whole variety of non-governmental institutions, but unfortunately they do not have power of execution. They may just raise awareness and, uh, and all of them have, have, have different roles. Uh, we have been, uh, um, superficially uh, tackled uh, the environmental freedoms, uh, what, uh, how we can use uh, the so-called natural environment. What is the accepted level of degradation? Could we get richer uh, if we um, degrade um, uh, resources that are not renewable? So, so this discussion may be much, much deeper, of course, but uh, just uh, to signal um, uh, this one. Um, 
the in, on the individual level, um, so when looking from the, from the top, uh, we see the rhetoric versus reality. Reality is usually uh, evaluated by individuals, by groups uh, who socialize and share opinions and create uh, uh, some powers uh, and um, some pressures. Uh, um, and uh, uh, but uh, but at the at the governmental level, it's a it's totally different uh, totally different story. So they, they they don't care about those who do not uh, who may be right, but they do not have power to exercise their rights. So. Uh, a sort of bargaining power between different institutions, different individuals, different countries, uh, and uh, in all, all areas. Um, mm, what is it? Um, no, no, no. Let, let me. Um, we, you also pointed out uh, the uh, ups and downs uh, in the level of uh, uh, liberal democracy or. Uh, trends towards uh, coming back to autocratic uh, solutions. And uh, um, the question is, uh, how much is really enough? <laughs> and when? Is it a constant level? Or should we permanently go towards bigger liberalism and uh, the bigger freedoms uh, uh, under what conditions? And uh, uh, you pointed out that uh, uh, we uh, desperately needed more re liberal approaches to address uh, uh, the more need for freedom and for actions of people who are, uh, who are, who are knowledgeable, who are active, who want to, uh, to make uh, input, uh, an, an impact on, on what, is what is going on. But then uh, again, uh, there was another danger, that is uh, freedom uh, may restrict the freedom of others. So if you violate the, the rights of others, again, uh, this. Uh, Perhaps this is too much freedom if uh, there is no self-regulation that you cannot violate the, the rights of, uh, of others. Perhaps uh, this is a very good explanation why then again power is being <laughs> um, uh, re, uh, recovered by the state or the institutions um, uh, who usually have uh, uh, command over those uh, forces like military, police and, 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 and all the controlling uh, institutions. Mm. So, um, what else uh, was uh, mm -hmm. about the great uh, transfer transformation and uh, how much uh, uh, how much uh, uh, power is needed uh, to properly react to uh, external uh, conditions of change, uh, the level of change, uh, and uh, uh, if we take uh, into account um, the present state of, of things, we have uh, pretty. Uh, Detailed observations, and uh, we are making uh, we are made furious by some decisions, some actions, and we protest. But on the on the long term, we should think uh, what would be the uh, major development uh, mechanisms moving us towards some future tensions, future conflicts, future problems, because uh, uh, they will require totally a different uh, order and uh, contract between the society and the institutions and, and individuals. And uh, this is this part uh, uh, that we call the, the, the future, <laughs> uh, future priorities, and, um, and the forces, many yeah. the forces. Yes, and many of them show the, the absolutely incredible impact of technology. There's a smile to Monia, <laughs> who pointed out several times this technology. But really, this potential of the new technologies and uh, ICT technologies, manufacturing technologies in all, in all areas, makes a, totally, a total disruption of the existing order. So everything will be changed. The labor will change. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, we will be able to deliver almost at zero price a lot of uh, products. But on the longer term, there will be a big problem who will invest in further innovation and further um, uh, platforms uh, for growth. Because if there is no economic incentives, like, like you put it, that uh, profit <laughs> is an indicator whether you, uh, you succeed or not. And if you have to show the money, then you have to forecast uh, where the money uh, could be uh, reproduced, uh, uh, how, how you can grow the, grow the business. Uh, so, uh, so, so this is a uh, very important uh, issue, and uh, if uh, uh, there will be uh, 
a growing population with, uh, we, we have been speaking about the demography um, uh, yesterday, as far as I, as, as I remember. So there will be a, an immense problem, so who will work and uh, what will be the, the, the nature of labor? So what will we be doing? And then uh, we need uh, um, new contracts, um, uh, what, uh, how much market, uh, how much uh, governance, uh, and who will decide on behalf of those masses of people. And we didn't take into account uh, at least uh, one uh, very important uh, geopolitical uh, feature, that is uh, uh, the world uh, 85. The world 85 means that 85% of the global population is not living in the United States and Europe. They are living in uh, other regions uh, and uh, with the dominating populations of China and India. Uh, and again, uh, China is an aging population, while uh, uh, India is a very young population. You can uh, imagine that uh, every month um, there is a million one million of uh, Indian uh, uh, people attaining the age of 18. Every month, new million of 18 years old people. So it means that uh, uh, it is, uh, those, uh, those countries will create uh, really the pressures uh, on, uh, on what we are discussing now in a pretty safe ground, sitting in a nice classroom and uh, being educated, uh, being uh, privileged uh, in terms of uh, economic conditions, but we have to take into account this uh, future within 10, 20, 30 years. Thank you. Thank you.